Hey, welcome sports fans from Roland Marullo Fieldhouse on the campus of Rivera High School for tonight's basketball matchup between the Rams of Lynn Classical and the Lady Patriots of Rivera High School. Mike, it's senior night, last home game of the season, and uh, we've been on a magical mystery tour ride with this team all season, and uh, there's no reason to believe why um, anything different is going to happen tonight. Well, at 18 and 0, and they, uh, uh, what was it, a 29 point win the first time that they played, so uh, keep it going tonight. For sure. Yeah. You know, we got a lot of things going on. I, uh, we, we just got word that. Uh, Coach DeCristoforo is going to start five seniors, you know, um, kids that may have never started before. But you know, she's the kind of she's the kind of coach that keeps her players happy. That's why they play the way they do for her. all the time. I mean, that, it's a nice. I mean, senior night's a great night. I mean, really, yeah. Uh, they all the girls put time and effort into it. It's just not the starting five all the time. I mean, yeah. you know, from a practice standpoint. I mean, you know, these girls are here day in and day out. Plus, we're going to get. We're going to get a look at their moms tonight because they're going to come on and get their flowers from their daughters. And it's kind of a ceremonial night. And, you know, it, it should be a lot of fun. You yeah. know, on a serious side, we used to, we talked about Trey until our tongues fell out during the basketball, <laughs> the football season. But you can't help but talk about Morgan Jenkins. Wow, what you a know, great year uh, she's having. It, and also, you know, we were here for a thousand point and we're lucky enough to hear it be tonight to probably see her thousand rebound. Because yeah. she's only three away. She averages seven, right? Yep. Yeah, she, you know, she averages uh, 17. 17 a game. So unless That's... something ridiculous happens, we're going to see history again. Because I think Patrice Missiano might be the only other Riviera High School thousand, female thousand, that has yeah. got 1,000 rebounds and 1,000 points. You don't see it very often. No, it's almost unheard of to be able to do it, you know, to be, uh, to be a big... You know, yeah, and, and, get a thousand and one of the things that I'm going to do first thing tomorrow morning if she does it is I'm going to go online, and that's great for me because I never go online. Yep. You know, but I'm going to I'm going to email Sports Illustrated faces in the crowd, and if that doesn't qualify for a faces in the crowd, a thousand rebounds, thousand points on a team that's 19 and 0, you know, second in the state right. as of the, according to the Globe on Monday. I mean, I, I read that in Sports Illustrated every week. And there's a lot of things. It's a nice little article, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of things in there that don't match up to what she's done. Right. So, you know, hopefully we'll get her a little more, bit more notoriety, you know? Absolutely. I'm looking at them warming up, and they just, it, it's, just it's, it's, it's just not only are they teammates, but they're friends. Right. Off well, the court. Why don't, you know? why don't you mention what uh, the Ashley DeFreya thing? Um... Yeah, you know, when when uh, Coach DeCrisoforo was, uh, was talking about starting five seniors, you know, she had six seniors. So Ashley DeFreya went up to her and said, you know something, I, I don't have to start, I start every every night. She That's says, why don't you let somebody that doesn't start every night start in my place? That's how classy this team is right there. Peter. And that's why they're, they're together team. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting the, uh, the cutoff signed by uh, Mark Ferranti, so we're gonna go, and we'll be back with the beginning of the game in a couple seconds. Good evening, basketball fans, and welcome to the Royal Marulo Fieldhouse at Rivera High School for a Northeastern Conference girls basketball game between the Rams of Lynn Classical High School and your Rivera High School Patriots. Now, tonight's senior night, and we're going to honor the seniors on both teams. First, for the Lynn Classical Rams Seniors, number five, Anna Kern. Like a nice touch. Number 12. You know, leave it to Adrienne McGuire. Yep. She's given flowers to the opposing team. Their seniors. Their number seniors. I mean, leave it to Adrienne to think of that stuff. You know, she just runs a great recreation program. And, number and she's always very thoughtful Wilson about this. You don't see this very often. You know, okay, you know? We've, we've been on vacation a couple of times uh, with the Maguires. And, and now the seniors she thinks of everything. She always has the kids doing something. You know. This is another thing boys don't do. <laughs> she bought picture frames. Well, she's just always prepared for something, games, activities. There's Cat Prince and her mom. 
Talk Cat, great kid. This is a Prince family. Cat also plays on the softball team. And Joyce, thank you for your 10 years of dedication and hard work. Cassandra Zullo, my neighbor, lives right across the street from me. And, uh, her sister, Noel. And father, Jean, Jean, Jeannie and Jerry. And her sister, Noel. Uh, Cassandra's a great kid. Worked real hard to make the varsity team. Doesn't get a lot of play in time, but you know something? Stuck with it. And she plays two other sports. She's, a, she's just a great kid. The whole Zullo family is unbelievable. Next, Marissa. Actually, it's Parrot. If she was from Canada, they'd call her Parrot. Uh, Dad's a custodian at Revere High School. Mom is my cousin. Her mother was related to my grandma. Uh, related to my grandmother somehow. Yeah. And she's the coal that makes this engine go. Though. Absolutely, absolutely. She's the she's the, uh, the the other gear, you know. A great yep. kid. Next number Looking forward to coaching her for a final year in track, too. What do you say about this? I, what, a thousand, well, thousand? I might mean, as well be Ferguson Jenkins, Hall of Fame, you know? She's... And his mom, mirror image of her daughter, and uh, one of the greatest basketball players ever to play at this school, and maybe in this conference. Yes. You know, so as nice as she is, good in basketball. Melissa Adriani, her mother and father. Parent, Jenkins, and Adriani are captains. Melissa was captain at our conference, goalie on the soccer team. Yeah, she's a soccer goalie. His dad. Always involved in the parents' clubs, all these parents, you know, uh, as we will be, Mike, in the, in the coming years. But, you know, always involved. Um, and it's an emotional time, you know. I find myself getting a little emotional. Taught all of these kids. I remember when they were sitting in front of me in kindergarten when they graduated from high school. It's got to be a little tough being a teacher, Peter, and watching great kids just leave, you know. Yeah. But, you know um, is Ashley DeFrayer. Deferred a starting spot to give it to one of her teammates who doesn't play as much. Ashley was also an all-star on the volleyball team and an all-star on the softball team. Next, Ashley DeFrayer. 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 Ashley De
A senior, number 23, Jenna Kulikowski. I wonder if she's any relation to Tom Kulikowski. From a senior, was a firefighter. Two, Roseanne Batista. And a freshman, number 35, Frankie Galizzi. Head coach of the Lynn Classical Rams is Tom Sawyer, assisted by Dennis Baldini and Assisted by Huck Finn. And now, the starting five for your... Did they get a freshman in the lineup? Patriots. Starting yep, lineup? Yep, they do. You know, it's not a surprise to see freshmen there anymore. They're good enough player, Mike. That's it. Prince. Yeah, Prince, get your chance as a starter. It's good to see you out there. Number five, Cassandra Zulo. Great. A senior captain, number 10, Marissa Perry. We're all giving Ashley the free up. Ashley DeFray, a big hunt. Thanks, Ash. Number 21, you know. Melissa Adriani. They and legitimately like each other. They do No. Morgan Jenkins. <laughs> the head coach of the Mid High is Diana DeCristoforo, assisted by Ben Murphy and Stephanie DeCristoforo. And the officials for tonight's game are Peter Ganji and Bob Fox. Me? Would you please stand, ladies and gentlemen, while we honor America with the playing of the national anthem. Okay, Mike, right, here we go. First time they played this team, it wasn't much of a game, but yeah, with high, in high school sports, you can never be sure about anything, you know? Nope, just hard work and see what happens. Yep, I'm looking, looking for classical to be competitive at the beginning of the game, but once Revere puts it in gear, it's hard for anybody to stay with them. We, uh, Depending on what you look, Mike, depending on what stat you look at or what uh, rankings you look at, Revere's anywhere from ninth in the state to second in the state. Um, quite an accomplishment for the Cristoforo's girls. Yes. And we're, and we're started. Uh, yep, Revere won the tap. Inside to Adriani, over to Morgan. Morgan to Kate Prince. Prince gets the ball slapped out of bounds, gonna be Revere ball. Bounce pass. Oh. She catches the ball. I thought she traveled, but she's gonna. Yep. <clears throat> they call it on the floor. On Tashana Brown, number twelve. Gets it out to Marissa Parent. Oh. She lays it up. No good. Rebound by Adriani. No good. Parent gets the rebound. Katie Prince off the bat, oh, and a three. Over a three. Cat Prince. It's a nice way to start your senior game. Yeah. Well, five's a big girl for uh, classical, Mike. Yep. I don't think that counts as a rebound. Oh, she almost picked up her second foul.
Out to Adriani. Everybody's cutting. Everybody's moving without the ball. Just what you want. Yeah, I tell you what, look. Well, the cat Prince just puts it up. No good. There have been, uh, Sun just is... in that rotation, Peter, I saw eight people cut through <laughs> that lane. Yep. That was good. Number I thought 20. that girl had a speed pass. <laughs> she went right around and took it up the middle. Need to, block up, need to block up the middle, girls. Who was it? Masked by Kristen Laria. Okay. Six twenty-two left in the first. She carries yeah, Peter the ball. Rivera up three to two. Yep. You know, when you look when you look at uh, some of the seniors oh, that are starting, oh right yeah, there. nice crossover and a basket. Marissa Parent. Yep. Scores the basket and she's fouled. And I was saying you're looking at some of the um, people, the seniors that are starting that aren't usually starters, don't get a whole lot of playing time. On some other teams, they'd be stars. You know what I mean? Well, that's, I that's mean, the Cat, price Pr you Cat to Prince ranks second the state yeah. right i mean cat prince is as fast as anybody you know except on her team you know? that was a great block right there yep by cassandra and they're all over the floor this team okay oh, ah. revere was out of bounds yep we had a good look at that one we got the right call well some sometimes <laughs> marissa you think she has six legs, you know, like a spider. <laughs> you know? Legs it up, no good. Uh, rebound. rebound. Rebound by Prince. Nice job. Playing like a queen. Well, that's going to be the second foul on number 12, I think. Yep. So Ooh, Trisha Brown minutes. has her second foul. Two minutes and 15 seconds into this game. That can't. She looks like their fastest player, too. Uh, let me just let me just toss this up, says Marissa. <laughs> and it goes down. Yeah. Brown to the hoop. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. They gotta that close up cut. the middle, Mike. You know what? Well that's the third time she's penetrated down there. Exactly. Peter, twice with I mean, the basketball and uh, once on the cut. Uh -huh. She's so strong with the basketball. Yeah, she Phil, yeah, like two hands on the basketball there, Peter. And she just powers up. From every angle, you know, she just yep. gets such strong arms and legs. Because when you look at her, she's really not, like, huge. She's not, like, tall one. You know, yep. she hasn't got huge shoulders. But she just, she just gets it done because she's the will to win. Six points from uh, the yeah, parent. Yeah, I, I defy anybody to be faster than her. Maybe as fast. Oh, that's a great move right there. But there's not a lot of girls that are faster than her. That was Hannah Byrne. Byer, Burn. Hannah Byrne. Okay, Morgan's stuck out in the perimeter. She gives it up to Parent. Morgan. One time. Steps up from three. Oh. Number five's wow. ahead of the crowd. Oh, she was running ahead. She should have gotten the ball there. I think Melissa Adriana just recovered a fumble. Well, she saw the ball on the floor and she dove for it. Rivera up 11 6, 421 left. First. That's how you get to be 18 0 by diving on the floor against loose balls. For loose balls. Oh, nice hook shot. Number 20, what? Five. Okay, Cat Prince is going to go to the free throw lane. Not, af not afraid to take it home, you know? And we're going to have three subs right now, Peter.
Yeah, she gave him half a period. I mean, that's what you thought she was going to do. You know. Actually played pretty well, Peter. Yeah, a little bit more than, you know, a token look at these kids. They played well. They, they practice with these girls. They play well, like I said. On other teams, some of these girls might be starters. You know? They go out to a nice ovation, the seniors. Cat yeah. got herself four points, right? Yeah. Looking for five. Gina's hoping that she makes it. And there it is. Nothing but net. That's a great job by Cat. Five out of the 13 points right there. Yep. Revere 13, <clears throat> classical eight. Exactly four minutes left, Peter. Short by number 23. Morgan hasn't got a rebound yet. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure she doesn't. It's number 20. Connolly. Completely forgot about that for a second there, Peter. 13 to 10. She has one now. There's an offensive one. There's two. So she's one away from a thousand. Uh, uh. Nice job, Gina. Three on one there. Yeah. But Freya gets the rebound and loses it out of bounds. Oh. Off Ashley's leg, but it was. I think they give it a green. <laughs> yeah, they are giving it a green. Uh, that was good defense all around. Caitlin didn't lose her man. Ashley had to cut it down the lane. That was good. Another, another nice crowd at a girls' basketball game on a cold night. You know, uh, feel like you're in uh, in Hoosiers or something. Uh, there's the, there's the uh, that could be it. She just tied the tied the thousand point thousand rebound record. Just takes it to the hoop, bats it into the crowd. Maybe only the second. Morgan Jenkins earlier in the year scored her 1,000 points. Now she has 1,000 rebounds. And the place goes wild, Peter. Yeah, I'm just saying, it's like, uh, you know, it's like basketball in Indiana. People come out in flocks to see these girls play. You know, plus Jimmy Caramello. Puts it on the sign in front of the firehouse every time they have a home game. So <laughs> when people are driving up and down Broadway, they know exactly when the girls are going to be playing. Whoa. Uh, she heard footsteps. Yep. Gina Restiano for three. Oh, and she goes, oh. she hustles for the rebound. She does. And nails number 20. No she call. got away with a the foul. There. Absolutely. No call. It's all right. Oh. Uh oh. Is my son Ben looking for money for the concessions they had? <laughs> Peter, do all our kids have that same I'm broke look on their face? Yes. <laughs> I know the exact look that they're going to give me. And he'll be back for more. <laughs> hey, as long as he stays out of trouble, keeps his marks up in school, and is as respectful as he can be, uh, uh, I'll give him what I got. But let's get back to this game. They're trapping in the corners. They find the girl low in the middle. And uh, who was Monta it? Monta Connolly. Number 20? Yep. Connolly. So it's 15 to 12. Classical's keeping it close. Gina fiddles and diddles on the right side. Uh, throws a lousy pass.
Oh. Oh. They just play it hard. That's they the way you love to see them play. It is 15 to 12, Peter, with one minute left in the first. <clears throat> Not surprising, Peter. Don't forget, this classical team's 11 and 5. They're, uh, I know we might have won by 29, but they're still, they're still beating some other teams. Gina brings it to the rack. No. Nice lefty finish. By Still Conley has six Conley. points and they've cut it to one. You know? Yep. 35 seconds left in the first half. 15 14. I mean, it's the first quarter. There's no need to panic. You know, just play your game. That's all. Morgan holds it overhead. Yep. 26 seconds. 15 on the on the shot clock. Gina's up top. Calling a play. Got six. Five on the shot clock. Four. Three. Morgan There's takes it home, option. she lays it up and in. There's a good option. Always a good option. Morgan Jenkins. A legend. She makes the free throw. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good D right there by Gina. Okay. You know, Mike, they, they have, uh, they don't have their starters for the first four minutes of that of the quarter and they held their own and then the starters come in and you know have a pretty steady last four minutes and we get a four point lead uh, we'll get spoiled after a while why aren't they ahead by 12 why aren't they ahead by 16 let it flow let it flow well just a, a just a quick note peter but um when the reverse starters have come in they only scored three points then is that I'm not sure. No, five points. Five points. Yep. Because so we said that Cap Prince had 13. I had, uh, had five, five out of the, of the 13. 13. Right. Yeah. The start of the second period, it'll be Evere Ball. Okay, Revere starting five comes back out. Cristiano, top of the key. Over to Parrott. Oh, Gina gets blocked. gets a shot blocked. I'm not sure whether it was a shot or a pass, but whatever it was, it got blocked. Number 20 takes a couple of steps. Yep, Monte Conley traveling. A couple of passes have been telegraphed tonight. I guess, like that one. Uh, Coach Conley has the 4 0 just had to have a seat there. I don't think she was too happy. Half a classical's points. Morgan down the middle takes it to the hoop, lays it up, and no good. Mario with the rebound. Number 12 to Shana Brown. Over to Trisha Byrne. It's number 25, Kristen Laurier with the basket. She's gonna get a free throw. And she can put Lynn Vasco ahead with 7.02 left in the second quarter. Yep. No panic necessary. Nope, she misses, tie score, 18-18. It's 18-18. Look who's taking the ball up. Miss everything. Oh, 
Very uncharacteristic of these guards from Revere throwing such uh, yeah, easy a passes. Yeah, turnover there tonight, Peter. I for uh, classical for steel. I'm not, I haven't been keeping track, but. Oh, we, we must have a half a dozen. Another shot blocked. Yep. That's, oh, I thought she uh, traveled, but she lays it in. No, Peter. That looked like a travel to me. So classical goes up 20 to 18. They're playing. Classical's playing great defense, and Revere seems to be playing right into the teeth of that defense. You know, they'll adjust. Marissa Perrin gets knocked to the ground, but she's gonna get two free throws. You know what was nice there, Peter? Is that I think it was uh, Monta Conley, the one who got the foul, knocked her down, and then offered a hand to help her up. Yep. Girls do that. Yep. Marissa's averaging just under 11 points a game. She has seven already in this one. This is the second. Oh, that's a good rebound right there. Freya goes over everybody. Takes it directly to the middle. Yep, she slid uh, her feet were moving. That was a good call. Yep. She slid in the last second. So we got Deshauna Brown at the free throw line. Reveal leading by a point. Actually, Classical's leading by a point. Okay, the Christopher has seen enough. She calls the time the first time out. She's telling him just what we've been talking about, you know? Just protect the ball. Yeah. You know, protect the ball. Like I said, it's very uncharacteristic of this team to throw wild passes and stuff. They'll settle down, I assume. Well, Peter, just in the last few minutes that we, especially in the second quarter, I mean, they really haven't got off a quality shot yet. No. Now we've seen three or four shots blocked here. Oh, we got to give a little bit of credit to the classical defense. They're playing great. <clears throat> no doubt. Okay. Jenkins bringing the ball up. Gina comes to the left. Dribbles left. Bounce passes out the top to Morgan. Morgan's looking around in the corner to DeFreya. DeFreya back to Jenkins. Parent. Cutting across the middle. Oh, they had had Gina wide open in they the did. corner. They missed they her. They did. Looked the wrong way. Yep. That's okay. That's all right. Knocked away. Oh, that was almost a good save. Melissa Adriani steps out of bounds. So Christopher was yelling to her charges. Yep. Take control of the game. Keep control of the game. Can't do that unless you're protecting the ball. Okay, there's an ear ball. Morgan saves. Nice play. And here comes Revere. Yeah. Let's get it back to Morgan, run on the floor, but. Gina up for three. I'll tell you, Melissa Adriani is on the floor more than dust. I mean, she, she just dives, she dives, dives on the floor. Great hustle. Okay, it's classical ball. I thought it was Revere ball. Yeah. We're just playing. Revere pressing. Good footwork by Jenkins. She runs, runs by the pick. Right Nobody's stopping that train. Nope. Revere's down by one. 
Now Classical wants a timeout. Yep. Revere 21, Classical 22, with 451. Diana DeCristoforo is not happy, and she's in the face of her, hopefully all scholastic, Morgan Jenkins. I don't think these girls don't listen to her. Yeah. They're not afraid of her. Yeah. They respect her. Well, I know I, I've seen a few games, Peter, and I can't think of uh, her being that heated at any other time. Well, I, you know something, there's a lot of coaches that love to coach by intimidation. Yeah. And it doesn't work with good teams. It really doesn't with smart teams. And that's not the way she likes, she tries to be. These kids know she has rules, they know she means business, and she's not gonna back off. Mike, there's no 10 second call. I was just basketball. about to say that because I didn't see the ref going, but um, as long as there's a 30 second clock, I don't think there's a 10 second. When there is no 30 second clock. But I don't think that applies to high school. So Hannah Byrne, a running right hand, huh? Oh, uh, you gotta pop that shot. That Foul's on Jenkins? No, foul was on uh No, it was on Jenkins. Yep. Offensive foul. I thought that was a, a reach of a call. All she did was turn with the ball. Right. So if it is down by three, they're not used to being down, but they've played in games recently where they, one game they were down by six with a minute and 49 left. You know, so. On the run. Adriani rips the rebound down, and who's going to chase her? Oh. Okay, the shot's just not falling, Mike, you know? No. I really would like to have seen Gina fill the lane then, instead of backing off yep. the three-pointer. Yep. I think she could have had an easy basket. Uh. Oh! You know something, you don't make that call when somebody's breaking away for a layup. Yeah. Unless you're gonna call an in, you know an intentional breakaway foul. But Morgan's gonna get two. She dips, she shoots. Ah, uh, she front rims it. Yeah. Did she only get one shot? Did she miss both of them? One, it was one on one, Peter. Oh, one on one, that's right. Another rebound. <laughs> Coach to Cristoforo, streaming to get going. Streaming. Nice weak side rebound by DeFreya. Yeah. Oh, good job, Gina. Gina, smallest, well, second smallest girl in the court, comes out and uh, loses the ball. Defense right there. That was great defense by Adriani. Jenkins is coming out of the game. Coach Cristoforo didn't even look at her. So she knows she's a little bit of hot water over there. How can how can you how can you be mad at a player that plays her hot on all the time? Well, she's not having a good game in the first half. Let's put it plain and simple. Kaylin Carmelo, Caramello. This rotund referee is rapidly becoming <laughs> an enemy of the state here. Yes. PD, we got Revere 21, Classical 24 with two minutes and 15 seconds left. Yep. I tell you, I'm Revere's not sure Revere has been behind at halftime in any game this season. They are playing great defense right now. 
They are. Classic oh, really yeah. ordered. That's just what the doctor ordered. Yeah. Steal by Parent. 23-24. Still hasn't, classical. Classical hasn't scored in four minutes. Nice entry pass to number yeah. five. Caitlin Carmelo tries to go with her and reaches. It's only the fifth foul on Rivera, so Lynn's not going to the line yet. Ah, just hey, give it to Classical. They're playing, they're playing well. They're playing scrappy defense, and they're playing real aggressive offense. Give up the base. Oh, that's a great play, Gina. Get on the floor. Oh, that's man. a great play by Kaylin Caramel. Oh my God. What did I say, Gina? Oh, with a lefty layup. Kulikowski. Up, oh, up. Oh, come on, Gina. Come on, down get, by get three. It up to the wing. Classical 26, Rivera 23. Come on, Gina, run the floor. That was a textbook rebound by uh, DeFreya. Yep. She Box, boxed, she boxed her, her man out. out. Boxed yep. her man out and just went straight she up. She found her man first, then looked for the basketball. Gina for three. Gina rolled her she ankle. She turns her ankle. Oh. Adriani's gonna get two shots. I think Gina Rustiano landed on uh, the girl's foot. Yep. She came down from that three. Coach De Cristoforo is going to be happy to get into that locker room and end this nightmare of the first half that we've had. But a sign of a good team is not playing your best and still keeping it close. Number 23, Bears down by five. 28-23. That was 16 Jenna, seconds left. Jenna Kulikowski. Be nice to get a basket here. Ten seconds. Ten point one seconds. Seven point eight seconds left here, Peter. I thought there was a little contact on that last shot, but you can't complain when you when they've called eight fouls on your opponent and only five fouls on you. Yeah. It's been a weird, it's been a weird, weird half. Dwight ball, 3.4 seconds. Get down, get down! Oh, it. oh. oh it's a good rebound right there. At the end of the half, it's Lynch last with 28. Okay, 28-23 at halftime, and you know, sloppy first half of it. Yeah, Mike, let's uh, let's call yeah. a spade a spade. Well, it's just too many turnovers, Peter, and not enough good shots. Yeah. But. It's just uh, the, the the ball just didn't seem to want to stay in their hands. No, you know, um, a lot of a lot of easily intercepted passes and. Well, things they could straighten out for the second half. They're down by five. Yeah. Certainly not an insurmountable lead. Well, the effort was certainly there, but they're yeah. gonna have to come oh, off their hard. picks are a little bit better than, than what they're doing. Yeah, they played hard. Yep. You know. He had uh just a rundown on the score at halftime. 
Uh, Jenkins has seven points, got her 1,000th rebound in the first half. Um, Perrin has nine. Cristiano has two. Right. And there's, there's a, a you know a well, rare she's averaging almost 14, 13 yeah. and a half points a game. And Cat so. Prince had her five in, in the four. Ladies and gentlemen, last chance to get your so Revere has 23. The prize is at $150. On the other side, uh, Conley has eight tickets. for classical. Kulikowski has four. Laria has there's a Revere name. Yep. Laria has six. Brown has six, and Byrne has four. So they're five starters. Have spread the wealth pretty much. Yep. You know, and uh, you know, Revere's in an unusual situation being down at halftime. But like I said, certainly not an insurmountable lead. Um, but now they have to deal with adversity. And when you're 19, or 18 and 0, or whatever it is, 18 and 0, um, you haven't had to deal with a lot of adversity during the season. So we'll see what they're made of in the second half. Right. Well, they've beat yeah. a lot of good teams up to this point, too, Peter. So it's. Uh, yeah, I mean, Classical I mean, is a team that has, you know, Lynn teams have a lot of pride in what they do. And every team's coming to get them. Yeah. Every team comes, you know, from the minute they get up that morning when they're going to play a nine, an 18 year old, 18 and 0 team, they're saying in their gut, I want to beat them. Yep. Everybody wants to beat them. Everybody comes gunning for them. And everybody plays their best game. And that's what Classical's doing right now. Revere okay. just has to settle down and. Uh, play Revere basketball. Correct. And uh, they did let a few easy layups. Some people got behind them. Um, you know, so hopefully uh, defensively they can kind of cure that a little bit. Yeah, too. you know, another factor that we haven't mentioned is this is their second game in two nights. You know, they played last night. They played right. Medford. They did blow them out. But still, um, they played. Classical was home. Yeah. It's not watching. easy to play back-to-back -back nights for sure. You know, Classical was home watching TV. And we yeah. were here, you Waiting know, because for this game yeah, Revere never stops. You know, they never stop running from the minute they're on the court. So, first half in the books. Classical 28, Revere 23, and uh, I think we'll be back for the second half after this short break. Just remember that this is Revere TV. It is your um, community source in Revere for sports, entertainment, education, politics, anything you're looking for, Revere TV has it. Revere TV, tune in, channels 8, 9, and 10. Uh, you'll like what you see. Okay, we're back for the second half. Um, I didn't hear Diana yelling from the locker room, but I, I thought I might. I, I bet you she wasn't uh, whispering in there. I don't think you were close enough to the locker room <laughs> then, Peter. You know, I was talking to Larry Restiano, Gina's dad, and he just said the same thing we did. They just got to stop playing Revere basketball, and now they got to start pressing, I think. You know, their press has been legendary this year. Yeah. And as I say it, Classical breaks the press. Misses two easy shots. Oh. Yeah, I think they forgot to block them. Block anybody out there. Shauna Brown to the free throw line. You could, you could if you needed one. To Shauna Brown to the free throw line. Classical up six. Plenty of time left. That was a good stroke from her. Yep. Classical okay. up seven, 30, 23. Only 10 seconds into this half. You gotta keep their heads. Morgan goes to the hoop, misses the layup. Oh, Open layup what a for nice Kate. look. Caitlin Back Caramello. By Caitlin. Peter, that's what we gotta stop though. That's another thing that, you know. Yeah, they keep getting keep they keep getting easy them. access to the basket. The classical crowd doesn't like that call, but you know, in the first half there were a couple of calls that we didn't like either.
little basketball maintenance. Okay, Revere's down five with the ball. Ton of time left. Gina Restiano takes the ball over half court. Brings it down to the right, over to DeFreya. Oh, that's a good look right there. Plenty of contact, no call. Morgan dives out of bounds. Wow. She went 30 feet outside the court there. I don't know where the call was there, Peter. We got a couple of limb reps with us tonight? Huh. I don't know, check your ID, sir. Oh, uh, you can't do that. Nope, needed that layup. Right. You can't start trying too hard. You gotta play within yourself, you know? Think about Marissa, she's been getting her butt kicked the whole game tonight. Every time she touches the ball, Somebody's whacking and smacking at her, you know? Classical's had a pretty good game plan so far. Yeah. They're spreading Rivera out. Yeah, find Gina, find Gina. She steps up. Air ball by Gina. Yeah, nice play. Great play by number 23 for Classical to save the ball. All right. And now Tashana. I think we got to overplay her right there, Peter. Tashana Brown, I think so too. I haven't seen her go to her left yet. And there's two in a row. That very unlike, very unlike parent. Well, sometimes, some nights they fall, some nights they don't. Tonight yeah. they're not, and you have to be more careful when you're taking them. That's all. You know. Shoulders, Peter, but Kalen Caramello. North and south there. Well, you know something? Uh, I'd, be willing, I'd be willing to bet that Kalen Caramello has the least amount of turnovers on this team this year. Because she just does everything fundamentally correct. Could be. That might have been a travel too, Peter. Yep. Another rebound by Morgan. Come on, on her, give it to Gina. On her way to 2,000. It's a game of inches, and the inches haven't been on our side so far tonight. But with 13 minutes and 33 seconds left in the game. Oh, Gina, I mean, uh, Caitlin, get Caitlin. the piece of that one. Yep. She's always Sorry, there. Peter, if I sound like a spectator, I get a little excited here. She's always there. Oh, nice, nice, steal. nice steal by Parent. That was off to Freya, but we got the break, got the ball. Yeah. 20. I'd like to see Gina Kristen Lee. Laurie, number 25, is out of game. Fake one down there. And then just put it right up. Fake and go around. Almost a five second call. Out to Jenkins. Jenkins takes it down the middle and yeah. throws up a poor shot. Okay, Classical hasn't scored their last five times down. Revere, Revere hasn't just taken, not taken yeah, advantage Revere of it. Revere hasn't taken Up advantage in. of it. Gina for three. Yes. And the game is all tied there, Peter. 30 yeah. to 30. Four minutes and 35 seconds left. going to be Morgan's third, I think. That was, that was certainly a foul. 
Batista makes the first. Classical's up by one. And now we get the making of a bond burner, you know? Second half. This team's not gonna Classical up by two. They're not going away. Oh, we got a huge break right there, Peter. Yeah. She went to take the sideline away, and the ball found her. It was Fraggy Galezia. Stepped out of bounds. Oh, nice rebound. You know something, the Freya has been, it's gonna be a revere ball. The Freya has got some really big rebounds tonight. They're running the box out of bounds. Parent is quicker than a cat. Ashley was wide open there, but if she could have just taken two more steps to the basket, yep. she would have had herself an easier layup than, rather than the eight-footer that she just had to take. Oh, oh, wide open underneath. Yeah, but Carmelo came, oh, to, came to the block. rescue. Good block by Caitlin. Caitlin got a piece of that. Gina. Scores tied, 32-32. 3.35 left. In Revere, Restiano's like Cher, Madonna, you don't have to use her second name. <laughs> Here she say Gina for three. Gina with the steal. I love that kid, man. I've known her since she was a little kid. Boy, she loves the she loves to play basketball, doesn't oh, she? She loves she loves the competition, as we're seeing right now. Her father screaming on the floor. The Freya oh, going away from the basket. Everything's got the lead again. Ashley the Freya put up a dipsy do. And now Revere's playing like Revere. Oh yeah. Gina. Fiddles and diddles out to Marissa. Oh, another, another rebound by DeFreya. She puts it in. <laughs> Ashley DeFreya. Oh, that's gonna get a tech. That's gonna get a timeout from Classical. Is getting rewarded for her good deed of letting somebody else stop. Because let me tell you something. She's playing a hell of a game. She must have at least six rebounds, and the last two shots that she put in are the most important shots of the game so far. I think she's closing in on 10 rebounds, to be honest with you. But Revere, 36, back, classical back 32. Back in a comfortable position. 245 left in the second, third, sorry. Never any panic in our voices, Mike. <laughs> no, I mean, this has been a, it's been a great ride. And you don't want to say anything, and I know everybody's superstitious, and you say you're 18 and 0, and all that stuff, but, uh, win or lose, they're going to get a bye in the tournament. You know, we're yeah. probably not going to be on the air for a girls game until the tournament. You know, I see my daughter Emily on the bench. She had practice tonight uh, for her city league team, and now she comes back from practice. She right plunks her bench. butt right on the bench. She loves it there. Okay. Okay, here we go again now. Hannah Byrne bringing the ball up. Now we'll see how Classical deals with adversity. They were up and they were flying high and now they got to come back against the number two team in the state. And a turnover. And the butterflies are flying in their stomachs. Number 23, Jenna Kulikowski's in the game. Nice bounce pass. Oh. Morgan goes yeah. up and she gets leveled. Good pass by Parent. Morgan right Jenkins there. averaging 17 points a game, just over 17 points a game, and right now she has seven. So you know she's going to pop in a couple of more baskets before the end of the game. 
Make those free ones count. She has textbook form at the free throw line. They're gonna love her in Winooski, Vermont. Oh yeah. Oh. Look at this. The shortest girl on the court makes the steal. Oh, and another steal. Oh. Oh, they gonna call for the foul with Peter. Oh. Now nah, she reached. She reached. I know. <laughs> she came from behind. She reached. I thought it was gonna be back-to-back -back steals for her. So athletic, so competitive. Oh, yeah. No, and then DeFreya. We gave out a game uh, ball right now, Ashley DeFreya. Uh, gotcha. Mine. I'm with you with that one. No doubt. Oh, look, look cross court. Gina for three. Boom. Yeah. That's her third three-pointer in this quarter. And Revere is now up nine. And Revere's pulling ahead a little bit. 41-32. Underneath. Well, that's a nice uh, shot by uh, number 20. Oh, uh, Revere is up seven. 41-34. Classman wants under. timeout. Yep, yeah, 117 left. That last basket was by Monta. 113 Connelly. left. I think they're gonna reset the clock to 117. Like those four seconds are gonna kill anybody. Well, but you know, if you got a guy that's on top of it, you might as well do it. I think we're gonna have to go to the instant replay, see what was on the clock when they called the 123. timeout. 123. So they gave them 10 seconds. Pete, I'm pretty sure it was 117 when they called the timeout. But Caitlin Caramello puts the ball into Gina. Gina over to Ashley DeFreya. Yeah. Here we go, White. That's it. Make a play your game, White. The ball skips like a rock on a pond. That's it. That's it. When Revere's going That's this way. It. Gina for three. Oh. Grab it. I think she got a little it. piece of that. Come on, get back on D. To Shauna Brown. Here's a three. Oh, to Freya. Freya. <laughs> there she is again. We well, called her name a bunch of times tonight. She had her Wheaties today, baby. Absolutely. Gina drives the roof, throws up a, a Rondo floater. Straight up. Oh. oh. That's the closest you're gonna see Caitlin Caramello do <laughs> to complain. She had that look on her face like, uh, I didn't touch her. I can't wait to see that on the replay. Yeah, yeah. There. Like she came away looking like, you know, me? Here comes Adriani. DeFreya looks at her and says, am I coming out? <laughs> The coach says, no, stay in the game. You're playing great. I'll give it to Morgan right there. It's one-on-one. -on -one. That's what you want. Yeah! Morgan Jenkins. Right there. That's exactly what you're looking for, Peter. Takes it strong to the hoop and yep. lays it in. Up. Got bumped, didn't get the call. And that's, that's the end, end of the half. Th end of the third, quarter. Third quarter. End of the third quarter. Revere 43, English 35. Okay. So Revere outscored them by 13 points that quarter. Yeah. Um, 
Actually, Classical only had one field goal and they had five free throws. Four free throws. Five free throws. And Revere had three three points from Gina. A couple of baskets from Caramello. A couple of baskets from DeFreya. And we're up going into the final half quarter. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the 50-50 prize, $167. Boom. The number is 458731. 458731. Go to the uh, prefecture scan. Remember, this is uh, being brought to you by Revere TV, a community source for entertainment, sports, and anything else you're looking for. Channels 8, 9, and 10 on your uh, cable box. Executive producer Bob Dunbar up on top behind us. Um, Cracker Jack cameraman. Mark Ferranti, and it's Pete DiGiulio along with Mike Hinojosa. Last quarter, Pat Senior Night, Revere up by eight. Uh, oh, that's a nice. That was a good look. Yep, absolutely. Good look to number five. Now it's a six point game. Yep. English not going away yet. No. You know, what you want a ref to be, Mike, is consistent. I mean, I'm not the ref's best friend, never have been. You know, and this guy was letting everything go in the first half. People were getting hacked and whacked and not calling anything, and now he's calling touchdowns. You know, I mean, Revere benefited from that, but you got to be consistent. If you're letting people play, let them play for the whole 32 minutes. Gina for three. Ill-advised shot. Well, we get the ball, but who tied her up? The floor? There wasn't a Lynn Classical girl around. Keep moving feet. Keep moving feet. Okay, Gina takes the ball out. Stays this way. Gina calling a play. That's a good foul by it Gina. It is a good foul by yeah. Gina. Let she him make him at the line. She stopped the layup. Reached back and gave yeah, her a little... I think that's only her first foul anyway, so... Give her a little love tap. Brown's at the line. She's 4 for 4 at the free throw line tonight. She's the girl that you said she had a... And she does. She has a nice... Yep. Nice form at the free throw line. Now she's five for five. Revere's up five. Revere's up four. Yep. Downtown Tashana Brown. And here comes Caitlin after more. a quick rest. Times like this, you need her on the floor because she makes things happen defensively. So more always, importantly, this, she's so sound with the basketball. Yep. Back to Rivera. Yeah. Rivera up four, 43, 39. You, knowing Marissa the way I know her, she is. She is so mad at herself right now. She just can't get the ball to fall on the, on the easy shots. Yeah. In the first half, she she was laying them. She was laying them in. Well, that one she wasn't an ball. easy shot though. Peter. No, it wasn't. But the one that doesn't count goes in. <laughs> So Revere's gonna get the ball side out, 7.06, up by four. You know, Revere's averaging over 58 points a game. They only have 43 here in the fourth quarter. Gina for three. How'd I know that? <laughs> yeah! That's another great take. Peter, how many does she have tonight? She has 11. But she had six in the first quarter. You know, and she makes another steal. Boy, that little hop is a travel in my book. Blocked by Morgan. Oh, get up, look, get up, up. Oh. 
Oh, nice play. See, that's Caitlin Carmelo. That's our game, right. Caitlin Carmelo. Textbook. That bounce pass was a geometrical precision. That was a good take by Gina. May have gotten bailed out on that one. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit of an Academy Award performance. But when it's your girl, you say, go get it, girl. Yep. You know? This team's pretty good at the free throw line. I'd like to know what their percentage is. Who oh, Rivera? Yeah, the girl. I don't have I don't have a percentage statistic. But I know the Gina average is just over 13 points a game, and that is her 13th point. So oh, Rivera's up by eight. Right. We almost got another steal down the other end. A little floater by Classical. Yeah. Number five was over her back. They'll give Rivera the ball instead of the foul. So you got just under 39. Yeah, just under six minutes to go. Yep. I wouldn't say we're comfortable, but I'm, I'm saying that, you know, if we protect the ball, we should be able to come out of this victorious. Oh, another great take. Oh, get up and in there. Oh, got the rebound for Morgan. Jenkins. Put back and a foul. This can be, uh... Did they put the points up on the board? Morgan's 14th point. Yes, they did. No, it was 47-39 right, right there. I think it's supposed to be 50, isn't it? Yeah, see? Yeah, I hear a right. fan yelling 50. 50. We hear a whole bunch of Revere Pound challenge. Should yeah, be 50. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure it out. Gina for three. Oh, another offensive rebound. We get. Wonder if we can get a get over to Kingston there. Let the ref know. Yeah. To Freya misses the jumper. To Shauna Brown bringing the ball down. Yeah. Stopped cold by Parent. Number five brings the ball home a little too hot off the board. Morgan steps out of bounds. They missed the basket. Uh, they missed the they missed the Morgan put it's back. Up, it's up. They put it up. I don't worry too much when the score's wrong on a scoreboard, as long as it's right in the book. That's a nice move by uh, yeah. Classico. Yep. Time out Classico. Revere with a nine point lead. Uh, Revere, Revere 50, 50 to 41. English 41, yep. 439 left in the, in the game. Nothing secure about that lead, but you know, when you play the kind of defense that Revere does, you force teams to take bad shots. We haven't seen Amy Rotka tonight. She impressed me the last time uh, played. She's a sophomore. Yeah, defensively. Yep. Yeah, she brings a lot of energy night. to the game. Last night in the Valentine's Day massacre against yep. against uh, Medford, she played really well.
No, here we go. Okay. Glasgow call timeout to put in a trap. Ron reaches in and fouls Parent. That's the seventh foul. It's going to be one and one on. Uh, Parent's going to go to the line shooting one and one. Yeah. She misses the front end. So Marissa's had a tough night shooting the ball. But you know something? She's made about five steals and still has over 10 points. Diana begging her team to fuck somebody out. And the classical coach is just saying, hold on to the ball. Oh, my goodness. That's out of bounds. Hit the back of the rim. Hit the, hit the bar in the back of the backboard. A lot. Uh, devil ref didn't I'm see pretty, that. I'm pretty he was sure standing right the side, there. But uh, they cannot hit the bar on the back. Yeah, hit the pipe. And this isn't hockey. But you know, you know something, Peter, though, should never have happened. That was their fifth shot. That's right. Fifth rebound in a row. Yeah. Diana calls a quick timeout. Tashana Brown is yeah. seven for seven from the free throw line. She's asking them to block somebody out right now. Just Diana. under four minutes and his it's single digit lead. I don't think the classical has taken a three point shot tonight, so I'm not sure that, that they could get back into the game that way. But they're quick. This brown girl is is pretty quick and number twenty. Connolly. Just digs and digs and digs. Okay, going for eighth consecutive free throw. Oh, she's smooth yeah. from the line. Trapping in the corners. Well, Marissa says, get away from me. I'm gonna run right through you. Okay, Rivera up seven here. Yep. Gina at the top of the court. Time to use a little time, use a little time. Gina with a 12 foot of bank. I tell you, Caitlin was open a couple of times running the baseline. Gina has 13 points in the second half. We mentioned that she only had two points at halftime. Yep. She's got yep. 13 in the second half. and She came out firing. Yeah, she did, you know. But and we that's what Gina does though. And we mentioned the steady play of DeFrayer in the second half. Nice job, Caitlin. Oh. Maybe she had her arm on her. She knew it. She raised her hand right away. So now both teams are in the bonus. Monta Connolly at the free throw line. Shooting one on one. She misses the front end. Nice job, Ashley. Another rebound. She must be My in double goodness. figures for rebound. Absolutely. I mean, she averages eight and a half a game, but. Well, she's right. Oh. Oh. No comment necessary, Mike. No. Nope. Drive to the middle, throw it up over your head. Revere now up 11 with two minutes and 50 seconds left and just got a turnover. And Classical is uh, self-destructing at this point. I think Lynn Classical is a little tired, Mike. He hasn't played everybody. He's only played six girls. Get I just think they're a little tired. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Revere played six people tonight, too. Yeah, after the first Four starting minutes, right, yeah. Yeah. Looked like a bunch of dominoes went down there. And we're coming out of it with a foul on Revere. And Classical's going to shoot one-on-one -on -one again. 
Number 23 going to the free throw line. Jenna Kulakowski. Kulakowski has four points. She has a chance to make it six. Front end, good. Yeah, Rivera up 10. She'll get a second one. Okay, Rivera's up nine. Lynn Classical only has three field goals in the second oh, half. that's a great look, Caitlin. Oh, the finish, yes, sir. Great look, Morgan. Caitlin Caramello always ready to receive the ball. She deserves, I tell you, you know why she deserved that? Because she had run the baseline every time down Absolutely. the Absolutely. And hadn't gotten the ball in a few trips You down. very seldom see her drop a pass that's thrown to her there. She set a pick, rolled yeah. off it like she should. Gina for three. More hard work by Caitlin getting her that open Absolutely. look. Absolutely. Set a great pick. Get up 16, Tina, just like that. I'll well, see you later. I will. Good. Very good. Yep. And if dearly departed Dandy Dawn Meredith was here right now, he'd start singing. <laughs> Turn out the lights. The party's over. You know, Rivera's up 16 points, and I know, you know, this could this could end up being 20 points by the time this thing's all said and done. But this was not a, a 20 point game, Peter. No, they were down by they were down by five at halftime for the first time in a long time. I mean, I know they played a great second half. A great second half. So but they've outscored Lynn Classical by 20 points in the second half. Lynn only like I said, Lynn only has three field goals in the second half. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven free throws made. They only have three field goals. Gina Rustiano with 16 second half points. You're not going to hold her down for a whole game. I was mentioning to somebody the other night, you know, she doesn't shoot as well standstill as she does off the dribble. She likes to be moving when she shoots. And I didn't keep any statistics, but it right. just seems that way. Number five. Another. Oh, and that. The Freya. Give me yeah. the ball. Just give me the ball. It's gonna be classical basketball, but. One thirty-one left, they're up by 16. Yeah, stacking it up. Oh, nice line shot. drive. By Monta Conley. She's got 15 points, Conley, for classical. Oh. Take the ball to the hoop. Let's throw it up backwards. I think we could have just sat there and took a little time off the clock, Peter. Yeah. She shot that with 22 seconds left on the shot clock. Only a minute and 14 left in this game. I'm surprised. You know, but when you're on a roll, you yep. want to keep, keep it rolling. <laughs> Sure enough, that's her 18th point. Yep. Average is 17.2. Oh, that's a nice take right there. Yeah, Tashana, Tashana There's Brown. a minute and three left. Peter, they should be taking this all the way down. Take the... Lead is, lead is 12. Now as we count it down, yep. Bill go home tonight 19 and 0. Nice take. Jenkins gonna end up scoring 20 points. Revere's gonna be 19 and 0 for the first time in a long, long time. Over 20 years. Somebody said 1988 they were 20 and 0. 
Yep. The year I graduated, Peter. My year. Morgan misses. 33 seconds left. Rivera, 14. Oh, and a foul. And Rivera will go into Peabody Friday night to end the year and seeking a, an undefeated season against a team that they beat by 37 the first time they played them. That was uh, Morgan's 1,000-point night. Yep, 76-39, they beat Peabody. And this girl Brown just keeps making free throws. That's her one, two, three, four, eight, ninth in a row. Wow. Stroke is silky smooth for them. It is. For her. Yep. Ah, oh. we jinxed her. Yep. We did. 25 seconds left. Shot clock is off. Rivera up 13. Crowd comes to their feet on senior night. Yeah. Got three seniors on the floor. Over to Caitlin. Out to Morgan. Just gonna hold the ball out there. Everybody's on their feet. Two, one, 19 and 0, Michael. Wow, Peter. Been some ride so far this year. Glad to be a part of it, let me tell you. 19 up, zero down. Has a chance of undefeated ring through the gymnasium. <laughs> I'm looking over at Emily, and she's, my daughter Emily is in the line, knuckle bumping <laughs> the other players. She thinks he's on his team. Well, Mike, I hate to sound cocky, but you know something? I wasn't worried in the least when they were down at halftime. Uh, they could have been down by double figures at halftime. Revere didn't play their game in the first half, and they needed to come and protect the ball and dig in on defense. They so just catch, simple as catching the ball. The first half, they weren't catching the ball. A more mature team, because I don't know if they could have won this game last year. Oh, I don't think they would have won the right. game last year. And never mind, win by But 13. after you win 18 in a row, they have so much confidence in themselves right. and in each other that, um, you know, I, I think, I don't think they're cocky. I just think that they are confident. And there's a difference between those two. You know that. You well, know? I think they're good. <laughs> they have a right to be cocky, but they, I just think they're confident. Yep. And they put, and they know that when they, when they lace them up before they go out, that they always have a chance. And I heard people say earlier in the season, oh, Central Catholic, oh, Andover, oh. Bring them on. You know, let's see what we got. You know, we beat that team from Londonderry, New Hampshire. We beat Fenwick. You know, those are good teams. You know, I, I'll put us up against anybody. You know, big or small, as long as we hustle and play the Revere game, I think we got a shot against anybody. And. Uh, yeah, that's exactly, I mean, you know, the, the old saying, you know, that's why you play the game. I mean, that's exactly what's going to happen. It's, Absolutely. You know, so I, I, you know, I don't know when we're going to be together again, but I, I've been told that um, we're going to be here for, for the uh, first tournament game. And that might not be till March 5th. I'm thinking, I'm thinking if they beat Peabody Friday night, they'll either get a number one or a number two seed in their division. They'll yeah. get a bye. The, the playoffs start March, I believe they start March uh, 1st. So that'll be the first Tuesday night, and we would probably play Thursday or Friday, uh, March 4th or 5th. So, uh, well, I'll be back from vacation. That's fine, lucky dog. A I'm little gonna be bit hanging more of a tan, Ben's, yep. got, Ben's got some basketball to play, and Emily's got, got uh, oh. playoff games, but um, getting back to this team, well, let, you let, know, let, I, I, we have another, I mean, a thousand, a thousand, Peter. I mean, I can't, that, that's just, uh, you know. Yeah, I, I don't think there's a lot of schools that have, that have, um, that have uh, anybody that's got a thousand points and a thousand rebounds. Yep. You know, when, when you think of, that's 50 games getting 20 rebounds. Yeah. You know, you know, it, it's, it's, 
amazing. I mean, points, one thing. You know points are gonna come in bunches, and now with the three-point, of course, it's been around for 25 years, but you can get points in bunches. You have to work your butt off to get rebounds. Right. You know? And you have to be good at it. And you have to be good at it. Right. She positions herself, she, she boxes people out, and like I said before, um, St. Mike's gain is our loss because yep. they're getting a hell of a player and a hell of a kid. I think we're going to try to get the Cristoforo over here. Hi. Hi. You smiling now? <laughs> Hi, now. Oh, my God. I was listening to see if I could hear you from the locker room in oh. the first half. They just, <laughs> they just weren't playing Revere basketball. Though. No, I think that we were a little distracted by senior night, you know, two nights in a row. I mean, we worked hard yesterday preparing, um, changing our preparation a little bit, our pregame stuff a little bit, and it worked last night. Um, tonight we... Plus back-to-back really -back games. Right. You no, know, that's hard, but they have young legs, so... You know, but you have to get to motivated be. when you beat a team by 30 points right. the first no, time you it play is. them. It know. is. It is, but Classical's really, really well coached. The uh, Burn kid's an excellent athlete, so, you know... She made 9 out of 10 free throws. We need better than to... Oh, yeah. I mean, she's a good player. Yep. You know? She's an even better softball player from really? what I've heard. Yeah. There's nothing to her, but I'll tell you, she can play. I know. You know? I know. But, you know, we saw you in the first half. I mean, I love the way you get into their faces no matter who they are. I mean, oh, yeah. Morgan is your stud. But you yeah. took her out of the game, and you gave her the what for. She yeah. walked right by you and sat her down because mm -hmm. she wasn't playing her game in the first half. Right. No, I think that, you know, if we have the luxury at any point in the game of giving kids a rest to watch what's going on, I think that, you know, with good players, I think that um, they usually turn it around. Overall, I think Morgan works really, really hard. We know that sometimes the ball bounces her way. Sometimes we get a foul here or there that, you know, she puts herself in really good position to get. I don't think we put ourselves in position to get a lot of the um, offensive and defensive rebounds that we typically get. So, I mean, in the second half, things came together. You know, Gina had yep. four three-pointers. She only yep. had two points in the first half. Mm -hmm. And we were mentioning Ash Ashley Defray's name came up a lot yep. today because she played a heck of a game. Yeah, I, I really can't say enough about Ashley's presence on and off the court as a leader for us. I think that, you know, a lot of teams prepare for Gina. They prepare for Morgan as best they can. You know, if Ashley turns around and shoots the ball, you know, we played in the Fenwick tournament. She had our first 10 points against Bishop Fenwick. Yeah. And it really got us off to a great start. And it allowed Gina and Morgan to get into their flow when the defense started to sag again and said, oh, they have someone else again. Just giving up her shot tonight. Uh, right. Was, I mean, that's just flat wrong. I mean, what is that? Yeah, I mean, I... I, again, I just I really can't say enough about her as a person. Um, she's a, she's a great kid. She's mm -hmm. always been a great kid. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I know these kids. I know you since kindergarten. You know, and and you know Excellent. she just grew up to be a, a, a fine young lady. Mm -hmm. And we were mentioning she probably had ten or eleven rebounds tonight. Totally. She yeah. made two big baskets down at this end yeah. um, when you guys were still when when classical was still in the hunt. Right. You know, and she she's picked, a real great, very great competitor. You know, and a really good athlete and. She responds well to not playing well. You know, she wasn't real happy with her performance last Friday night against Beverly. Um, you know, a few early fouls, gave up some easy layups. She wasn't real happy with it. She worked extra hard on Sunday at our practice. You know, came back with two great games. Um, well, she scored there. those four points when we when them. Marissa was uncharacteristically yep. missing three or four layups. You know, because she just runs yeah. 100 miles right. an hour and she right. wants to get it done. And you know, you well, know. that's what we're about. You know, and. We pick up for each other. Right, you pick it's up great. for each other. That's what you have to do. And it worked out for us tonight. Well, you got one more game. Yes, PVD. And, 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 you, and, <laughs> and, you know, I mean, ex well. expecting a buy in the tournament, hopefully, and uh, play here. Mm -hmm. You know? And I was talking to the custodians the other day. Is there a minimum capacity that the MIA is going to have you have? I mean, can we pull out some of these other. Last year we couldn't. I don't know. Well, I know you couldn't pull these I know there are a lot of. Um, committee people that came down after their uh, meeting today so we were happy to see them and I don't know if they have any yeah, I saw a bunch <laughs> of them any yeah. pull, but yeah. you know, we'd love to see more yeah um, any more stands that are safe you might right. as well pull them out well, we because, had it last year with just the old ones though yeah and you get all you know uh, Jimmy Carmelo has your games out on the uh, the flash and sign in front of the police department oh now. I know so people are gonna come to the games yeah you know and it's like um, it's it's like one of those it's like a it's, it's, it's a cliche, but it's like a Hoosiers thing here, you know? We get success, and people are coming out of the woodwork. People mm -hmm. you never saw at basketball games. Right. It's a cold cold Tuesday night, right. and they're here, and they're home by right. 8.30. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, uh, 
I, I obviously I'm not I don't wish anybody luck. I just wish you the best. Thank you. Friday Thank night. Thank you for your support. Too. Friday night. Well, we love you guys. You know, these are our kids and my students and. You know, I, I I'm just a homer, and I'm oh, not and I'm not uh, not too proud to say that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Thanks for joining us. I will thank you. Thanks for the stats. Of course. And we'll see you for the we'll see you, the, you, for, the, we'll see you for the first game of the playoffs on All right. TV. Okay. Thank you. Great. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Take care. So that's it. Hopefully, we're going to see you for the first game of the of the uh, tournament. Um, I know I'll be here. I'm sure you'll be here. I'll and, be uh, here. I'm not going anywhere. We want to thank. Uh, our crack cameraman, yep. Mark the Shack Ferranti, and we got uh, Bob Dunbar up in the booth, uh, Peter DeGiulio, Mike Hinojosa, saying goodnight, and um, we'll see you in March for the tournament. Thanks for joining Thank us. You.